Hi everybody, this is Jill from Daffodils Galleria. And earlier we made this cute little signature. And now I just wanna decorate the cover a little bit. Sometimes <clears throat> you can make several of these and stick them into a um, spine and have a bound grouping of them. Um, but I just wanna use this as it's, it's its own book. So I want to decorate the front of this, um, and I thought it would be kind of fun to make a pretty page with you guys. So I really don't have anything in mind yet. I'm just sort of going from, I've got some new things that I want to try to use, and so we're going to go from there. Um, so I've got some lace here. This is antique lace I bought it years ago at a estate sale and I thought gosh that would just be such a cool little pocket on the front so maybe we can do that and do I want to wrap it around I could wrap it all the way around but I don't think I want to do that I think I just want to well maybe I'll wrap it on the front like that oh yeah that would be cool that's what we're gonna do okay so we're gonna cut this little piece of lace oops still got washi tape on there and try to be pretty precise with it and now I'm gonna get my fabric fix stuff is pretty good it's kind of expensive but I think it's worth it. It sticks fabric really nicely. So since I want it to be a pocket, how do I want this to look? I want the pretty lacy side up on the top. So I'm gonna just do the three edges. So, so, so I'm going to wrap it. Oh, that's right, we're going on the inside first. So let's do that first. We'll start from the inside and work our way out. I'm gonna lay it there, but I'm gonna actually glue the paper if I can get it going. Okay, you get out of the way because you will not be used right, that, right now. And we're just gonna run it along the bottom line. And, oh, still don't know how tall I need to go. Well, I'm going to eyeball it. Wish me luck. When I get to eyeballing, things get out of hand quickly. Okay. So I'm upside down, <laughs> but that's okay. I want to carefully lay, work with me fabric, this. I don't want the wrong place getting glued to the wrong place, right? That made sense. So we're gonna lay it down and gently press it. And let it sit there for a minute while it grabs. Ooh, that's gonna be cool. Okay, I think I need a baby wipe. I'm gonna just get a baby wipe real quick here. I can't stand my fingers being dirty. I know it's weird, but, and I'm just gonna kind of dab at where those little circles are. Just to get the glue, not to stick to the paper. Cause I'm gonna have to close the book sort of here. In fact, I'm gonna take my little piece of junk mail here that I have. put it there just in case if it wants to glue it's going to glue to that instead and so we have another pocket on the outside we're going to put another little piece of glue piece of glue line of glue right here and down the bottom it's 
scooch up a little bit make sure you can see everything and up the edge here we go eyeballing again okay now we're, I want to kind of pull it I want it to lay nice and flat and there we go where's my bone folder I'd rather get my bone folder mucky than my finger <laughs> That'll give it a nice little crease. Okay. Dossie's good. Where'd my... Oh, see? Glad I did that because it is kind of sticking to that. Okay. So now what we're going to do... Put my needle away. I'm gonna just trim that up. If you did, if you like it like that, you could leave it like that. But I kind of want it a little straighter. So I'm just kind of cutting it right along the edge. Doop. Come on. These are paper scissors. Maybe that's why it's arguing with me, it's saying, "Hey, this does not feel like paper." Okay, so now, ta-da, we have a cute little pocket on the front and the inside cover. How cute is that? Okay, not quite dry yet. We'll just be careful and urgent voter alert, return your primary ballot now. Yes, sir. All right, so now what do we want to do to our cover? Oh, I know. I got this bunch of... Tim Holtz ideology stuff. A bunch of, I don't know how to say the word. Eph, ephemera pack, ephemera pack. I know, I should know that word, but I don't, I'm sorry. And I am a wandering girl. I love, oh, put your glue back on your cap. Whatever, reverse that. Anyways, and I love this set, it's all, just pieces of travel stuff. I'm not really sure where the bingo fits into that. Although I will say when I was a kid and I went camping at this place in Colorado, they had bingo every night camping. So that was maybe it. But let's see if I can find a fun one for just to stick right up here that fits. Those are too big. Or you could kind of tuck it in. Oh, that would be kind of cute, wouldn't it? To tuck it in there a little bit. So I've got all these little fun things from the set that I got. I really kind of like this. That might be it. Okay, I'm gonna start with that. And then also the set came with a bunch of little small guys. So we're just gonna kind of pick through. I don't know who these dudes are. This kind of looks like a mug shot to me. <laughs> See them? Who are they? They're scary bad guys. This way. Little dots. You could write your initials on there or something. American Airlines. These are all just copies. Oh, I am such a... I'm a Brit. And I'm a 100% UK girl. Quarter Scott, quarter Irish, and half English. I love that little one. Maybe that's going to have to be part of it. So we're going to leave that one there. Oh, about the little dot. What's this say? Gasoline and oil. 50 cents. That's kind of cute. Little ticket stubs. Admit one. I like that. Traveler. There we go. This may be the front. Last year, I took... My dogs, I have two golden retrievers and my cats. At that time, I had three cats and I loaded them into my trailer and I went on a two month road trip by myself and it was the time of my life. I loved it so much. Okay, so I really like that traveler. Maybe we're gonna do a little layer here. So 
Oh, you know what would be fun? It would be really fun to use my stamp, my stencils that I just got. I showed you these stencils when we were making this signature. So I'm gonna find one of the new stencils that I really love. I like that one a lot, but that's too busy, I think, with the lace. So if I can find something, just quickly, I don't like that one. I love hearts, too. Ooh, that's pretty. That looks like lavender. Nope. What? Would that be good? That might be fun. Yeah, I think we'll use that one. And, yeah, we'll just use that one for now. Okay, I'm gonna get my stamp pad here. What color do I want? Red is always good. Oh, but I have this beautiful coral. Okay, so I'm gonna get the coral and my little doohickey here. Okay, so I really think that coral's going to be pretty. So we're just going to just going to play with this. Maybe we'll do it like that. Stick it in there. If I was thinking I would have done this before I started just sometimes oops I'll actually just use the stamp pad. That might be what I'm gonna do. Let's see how that works. Here's our little special trick, because I really want to saturate the color. See what we get. I'm gonna make a mess, I guarantee you. I'm trying not to get it on the lace. And, oh, that's kind of cute. Can you see that? Yeah. So that looks good. And because I'm a neat Nick, this is what I do. I take my wet wipe, my baby wipe that I've got right here, and I immediately clean off my stencil. If you do it as you use them, it makes life much simpler. You don't have stuck on ooze forever and days. Okay, and I need a paper towel because I'm leaving goobers. I should have done it this way in the first place. Ta-da! One clean stencil. Okay, that was fun. Now, do we want to add anything more stencily wensily to that? I don't think so. I think that's good for now. Okay, so let's put our... Oh my. I've... There it is. I had a lost my lid situation. I lost my lid years ago. <laughs> okay, so what I think we're gonna do is we're going to take, I got my little art glitter glue here. And I really like this one, but it's so big, it's gonna cover up my pretty little stencil. So maybe we'll just stick with that for now. And maybe, Nope, I think that's it. I kind of like it at the top center. So, oh, come on out, come on out. It's being, it's being preposterous. What's the problem here? I know it's got a hole in it because I punched it in there myself. Put a little magnet on there, everything. This never fails. You see that there? That's the problem. <laughs> Work with me, people. Ta-da! <laughs> Look, if you're going to go doing this stuff with me, you're going to go through it all with me. All right. 
put our little thing back on. Get that back in there. You go back there. Little pin goes back on the magnet. Little toppy top goes back on the toppy top. And I think we're good to go. Good gracious gravy. Yes, see there? Oh, all is right with the world. Okay, got too much glue, but we don't care. Okay. And we're I think I'm gonna off center it. Nah. Yeah, I like it in the middle. I'm feeling pretty precise today. That's unusual for me. Okay, where's my Oh, I definitely got too much glue. This can happen. Now I want to be careful because I've got that from cleaning my stencil on my glue stick or on my baby wipe. That's all right. Stick them, look them. That looks good. Okay, now wipe my end off and Put our little pin, oh my gosh, are you serious? How old am I that I have to look and see if I can find that hole again? We did it though. Together we can achieve. Okay, so there's that. Now what to do? Now, what, oh, you know what we could do is just stick this little card right in there. How cute is that? And it's just a little tuckable. Let's put it right side up though. Yep, that's good. And maybe, maybe, We'll put in one of these tickets as well. Cabin class stateroom, just because that's cute too. And then we can put something else on the inside if we wanted to. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you these. They're really fun. Okay, clean up as we go. I don't know who these dudes are. Bad guy. Maybe it's the same guy with a hat and without a hat. What do you think? How do I? Yeah, hard to say. <laughs> Bad guys. No, he's not my boyfriend. I don't know who he is. He's going back in the bucket. Okay. So. I'm going to put all these little doodads away. Could do that after, but I believe that you will see me tidy every once in a while. Okay, now the next new thing that I got was I got some enamel accents. I got black and white, but I also got liquid pearls and a bunch of different pretty colors. So I need to decide which color I want to use. I really like this bisque color. There's actually more colors that I got than that, but I think we're gonna use this bisque. And I don't really have a plan for what I'm gonna do with this yet. I just wanna use it to use it, cause it's new. You get something new, you wanna use it, right? So, I'm just gonna put little dots. Dot, oh, that's pretty. So pretty. Dot. Dot. Oops. Dot. Hi, Glory. Are you snorting at me? You see that? I'm always backwards. Do -do -do -do. Cute, huh? Okay. Here, we'll move you a little closer. Let's see if that works. <gasps> Things are falling over there. Okay, so I like those four little dots there. Oh, I have another idea. We're gonna use the black on, see that little dot right there? That little, little tiny spot? I'm gonna accent it with, hey, get off there. Just a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Right on those dots. Just so it looks like it's riveted on. Okay. And I'm kind of not happy with the 
unfinished look of these edges. I'm thinking you need to scoot yourself here, little 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 dealy vice. Sorry. I'm thinking the edges need a little something and what do they need? I don't know, I'll think about that. But I definitely know what I'm gonna do to the back. And I should have done the back first because now these suckers need to dry. So I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> All right, well actually I'm gonna let this dry then we'll come back and we'll finish. The Stroke of Genius, instead of turning it over, I opened the book. Good gravy, my intelligence knows no bounds. <laughs> okay, so for the back, I'm going to show you one of my very, very, very most favorite things to do. I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do to finish up those edges. But I have, I love to use napkins in my work. I use a bunch of napkins for art journaling and I, I always have pieces that are already ready to go set to the side, but I want to show you how I separate the napkin to get just the one ply. You really do just want to use the one ply. And so this is the piece that I want and I'm going to stick this on the back. And that's one that's ready to go. But here's the napkin as it comes. So we're going to unfold it. And here's the magic, the magic trick. Over here, I keep these two little pieces of uh, masking tape. I use them over and over until they, the napkin just gets stuck to it or whatever. Take one and just barely touch it to that side. Barely touch it to the other side. Oh, this one was easy. It comes right across. And I always save these pieces because they are really pretty if you just glue these down by themselves or they come in handy in an emergency when you have glue everywhere. Toss that. Now you might think, oh, that's it. But guess what? I guarantee you, ta-da, there's another one. And that's my little handy magic trick for pulling the whole thing apart. Isn't that cool? Just save those little suckers. I just stick them right on my desk here. And we're gonna do do do. That is, if I taught you nothing today, oh look, I bummed up my little, my little duty. Oh well. Character again, people. Think character. There are no mistakes, only character. Okay, so I'm moving that out of the way because what I want to do is show you a little, another trick that I have. I have this little water pen and it's got, you see that? It's got a felt tip and it holds water in it. And this is a little handy trick. You can kind of just dab it you don't really need to do this. I'm just showing this to you because it it's a nice little tool to have on hand for like a thicker piece of paper. You don't need it for a napkin, believe me. But I just wanted to show you that you can do that. Okay, so here's back to our ruler trick to tear. It makes it just tear nice and easy. Might as well just go, oops, 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 jilly, jilly. See, it tore better up here where I put the water, didn't it? Okay, get rid of that. We'll use that for another thing. And we're going to use, why don't we do it again? Let's not be stupid. Little dot. It just kind of tells it something's gonna happen to you. It almost just tears by itself that way, huh? But I still want it to be relatively straight. Ta-da, that was easy, huh? Okay. So this is ready to go. It might be a little bit big, but rather than cutting it off, if it is too big, I fold it over the edge. You, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Okay, now we're going to take 
are matte medium. I love this kind. It's a trans translucent low gloss acrylic extender. It's what it's called, but it's matte medium and it works like glue. This is one of my favorite little tricks. I have a paintbrush here. I don't want to use that one. Just, I have a, uh-oh, got hard. Need, this one needs to go back in the water over here. Let me show you. I keep a little jar of water on my desk all the time. And these are my glue brushes. And apparently I didn't get it rinsed out very good the last time. So I'm just gonna let that one soak for a while. And go back to this one. I have a million brushes laying around. I also have these little brushes. You can get these at any craft store in a bag. I think they're like 10 to a bag. And I think they're supposed to be like a one-time use type of thing. I use those a lot in book binding too. But this, I want it to be a regular brush. Okay, so what we're gonna do is glue this down, decide where we want it. Do we want it in the middle? Do we want it on the bottom? I think I want it on the bottom. So we're just going to run it along. Oh, you know what we should do? We should use our junk mail card. It doesn't really matter. Just got to get enough glue on there. My cord to my camera is interfering with my life right now. You see it? Get out of there. We're very high tech here. Not really. Okay. Da, da, da. A little more, a little more, a little more. Don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna actually just glue that down with it. That might make me feel better about that edge. Okay, so now we're gonna just put this down on there, give it a love pat. And I always work from the middle out. I suppose you don't have to, but I like to. And I'm just gonna go over the top. And it just sort of dissolves into the page and vanishes. I love it. I do this all the time. And it rips sometimes. See that little rip right there? We don't care. It's character. I was a little rough. I'm sorry. And I don't care if it goes over the string. I don't care. I just want it on there. Just gently, gently, gently pushing it out from the center to the edge. Getting the glue on there. I'm really being very gentle because see, I ripped it again. And it's okay if it rips, I really don't care. If you care though, you have to be really gentle. I don't care. Again, mistakes are not mistakes. They are character. Sometimes when I'm doing these videos, I feel like I'm my dad because I feel like dead air is bad. Dead air is bad. And so I talk when I don't necessarily need to talk. And my dad is like that. He talks incessantly. I love my daddy but I don't really talk that much unless I'm doing a video. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Just wanted to get it on there and get the wrinkles out. Now I'm gonna take this little dude here. Excuse me. Hold those back. Oh, I'm surely gonna mess things up now. Oh, yep, look I did. Oh well, more character, right? 
Okay, if I were being a good girl, I would wait. I have very little patience for projects like this. I want them to be done and done now. So if I mess up, then maybe you'll give yourself a little more grace to mess up too. And tell yourself, it's not a mess up, it's character. You just tell them. If anybody says, ooh, that's messed up, you say, no, it's not, it's character. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick that on there gently for now. Okay. Can you see that? I'm trying not to mess up the other side. I was really not thinking when I did this. Oh, well. I'm not thinking most of the time. <laughs> I'm just living. Okay. So, here's another little trick. A little tricky-wicky. I always have right by me my little heat embossing tool. Because I have no patience. I'm going to air dry this sucker. Should have done that with those. But those, if you do that with the heat, they tend to bubble. So it's better, I think, to let those air dry naturally. But you can definitely help the glue along on the napkin with the heat. <clears throat> it might make it curl a little bit, but that's okay. I like things that look old and worn. Good enough for government work. Uh oh. Have a little rogue situation here. I made the signature just before I made this video and I forgot to put myself away. Shame upon me. Okay, we're good now. Okay. Put our lid back on. Now what? kind of like that just like that except this for some reason I don't know why this edge wants something more I've got it I know exactly what we're going to do I'm going to take another little bit of I think we're going to go ahead and use the um I'm going to use the matte medium again. And this is going to be a surprise. Okay, I'm going to make a little line right here along this edge with this and the same, I'm kind of following that same glue line. I want to do this kind of quickly. And I have right here a bunch of real lavender. I'm just going to sprinkle it right there on it. How cool is that, huh? And see what it sticks. Oh my gosh, I love lavender. It smells so good. This is real lavender. So I'm going to just kind of get it on there. Now, if that's not mixed medium, I don't know what is. Just let it sit there. How cute. I have, I do have a spray fixative. It tends to get all over the place. I might just try to be very, very careful with it. Spray adhesive. Just kind of, oop, sorry guys. There. Hey, I think I glued my pages. Let's check. Careful. All is right with the world. We'll see if those suckers stick on there or not. 
even just a few might stick, I'm going to be happy. It just, it's going to make it smell delicious for a while anyway. Cool. Hey, I lifted it off. Don't lift it off. Okay, I'm going to just let that sit. I feel much better about the edge now. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. And that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Makes me happy. Okay, so we're gonna just let this finish drying and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me any comments or if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.